what we've got here is a Australian made Smoke King smoke oven, which is capable of, uh, apart from uh, smoking, it can bake, it can steam as well. It's got a, a capacity of 35 kilos in stainless steel rack form, and it's a three phase machine and it works very well. The following machine is a quite quite a larger, substantial uh, imported smoke oven. It's uh, got a, a much greater capacity. Its capacity is 125 kilos. It is three phase. It's completely computerized with a touch screen. It can memorize, it can memorize up to 99 recipes. So you can preset it to uh, smoke or steam or, or bake. Um, to any sort of calibration you want and it holds it uh, in the uh, computer itself. It's quite an impressive piece of machinery. What we've got here is a stainless steel imported vacuum meat massaging machine which is used mainly in the meat industry. It uh, has the capability of also tenderising and marinating uh, seafood such as calamari or octopus. It has a capacity of 300 uh, litres or 300 kilos of produce. Um, quite an impressive uh, machine. You can adjust the speed of the rotation. You can have it to stop every so often. You can fully program it to work at any speed that you like. What we've got here is a saline injection machine. Again, mainly used in the meat industry. Can be used with seafood. The whole idea of it is to marinate meat as quickly as possible rather than using the traditional slow method of marinating uh, product over 24 hours. This has 40 needles which inject a marinade straight into the product so it could be put to the next process of smoking immediately. It's a fully stainless steel machine. It has a chamber to hold the saline or the marinade uh, separately and it uh, has the capacity of producing 1,500 kilos of marinated meat per hour. Yeah, what we've got here is an imported uh, aluminium wire double clipping tying machine. Uh, when you see uh, at the end of um, a fresh uh, bag of um, chicken, uh, you normally see that uh, aluminium cable or at the end of small goods, that cable. This machine has that capability of double clipping uh, sausages and poultry and all kinds of things. This also can be used for uh, clipping up um, if you want to do burley or any other produce, whether it be in a frozen or a fresh form. F fully stainless and it works pneumatically with air pressure. This uh, next machine is a uh, a, a chopper mixer machine, a bowl cutter as such. It is uh, three phase, quite a heavy machine, fully stainless steel, capable of uh, chopping up and mixing uh, even frozen meat, whether it be meat or seafood. Um, ideally used uh, to mince up and make uh, fish uh, meat into a paste if you ever want to uh, make your own dips of any sort, an ideal machine for that sort of process. And it has the capacity of uh, 40 kilos per, per hour and um, it is an impressive piece of machinery. This uh, meat mincer that you see is a three phase fully stainless steel meat mincer. It has the uh, capacity of uh, mincing 1300 kilos per hour, so commercially speaking this uh, piece of machine can really pump out some work. It has uh, three different plates to uh, mince in different sort of uh, uh, size and uh, quite an impressive uh, another piece of machinery in this plant of, uh, uh, that we've got on display. The next machine that you see is a multi-function meat cutter. Commonly used in the meat industry but can also be used with seafood, with certain seafoods like uh, calamari tubes. It uh, has a cut uh, thickness of five to eight millimetre. It is three phase. It can produce 500 kilos of um, cut meat per hour and uh, it's fully stainless. The next piece of machine is a vacuum packaging machine fully imported from New Zealand. It's brand new, it's not even uh, two months old. 
It's um, set up really for vacuum skin packaging. It can uh, vacuum seal plastic to plastic, so it literally can laminate uh, food of any size or description uh, in a vacuum form. It can also skin pack uh, plastic to trays. And um, like you see in supermarkets, a lot of packaging hangs in racks. Well, this one uh, takes all the air out of the, the pack and leaves a film of plastic on it so tight that it looks like there is no uh, plastic on it and the product is just sitting on the tray. A very uh, impressive machine. Is a pneumatic quantitative stuffing filling machine. Now what that means is in the hopper above it you can put up to 130 kilos of meat and on the side of the machine pneumatically you can control sausages being pumped out into sausage skin whether it be uh, a meat sausage or a seafood sausage and um, it has the capability of making the sausage to a specific length it can twist it and then make the next sausage automatically all you've got to do is keep feeding that meat above it and it'll pump out 130 uh, kilos of sausage per hour so it's quite uh, a powerful little stainless steel machine now the next machine we have here is a German imported Sub-Zero ice making machine, the Heigl brand. Has the capacity of producing 400 kilos per 24 hours. It does produce a Sub-Zero flake ice, which is ideal for icing down uh, bog bins of uh, seafood or fruit or got many uses. It's also commonly used in the meat industry to cool down meat when it's being minced, because in the mincing process of uh, meat, the temperature can rise and you can cook the meat in the mincing process by accident. Um, and it's ideal for whether it's used in the meat industry or the seafood industry. This is a meat slicer, a meat slicing machine. It's fully automatic. You basically load your meat into it, set the desired thickness and switch it on and it will slice automatically. All you've got to do is, at the other end of it, just uh, catch the sliced produce and off you go. It is uh, single phase, fully stainless steel, and not even a year old. This vacuum uh, machine that you see in front of you is an Orvid brand. It's a double bar, three phase vacuum machine. It also has gas flush capability if you want to uh, introduce any gas uh, into any produce to stop any, uh, to give produce a longer shelf life. It's fully stainless steel and just on two years old. Uh, the scale that you see in front of you is digital. It's single phase, it's a Wedderburn brand, an SM90. It is controlled by a computer. We can uh, adjust and make our own labels. It's specifically set up for uh, pre-packing and labelling of any kind of produce and with this scale we can produce labels that give us any information that's required by law whether it's product of Australia or ingredients or use by dates or specific weights. A very good commercial scale. The uh, vacuum machine that you see in front of you is a bench model. It's a single bar, single phase food vacuum machine. Uh, ideal for small production rather than uh, starting up the larger machines. This is great for small jobs. It's very fast and efficient. It is single phase and meets the highest health standards. The next display fridge that you see in the uh, range of equipment is an Orford um, twin door upright uh, fridge that works at around zero to five Celsius. It has the hanging capacity to hang products in the back if you want, but it has multi-shelving, adjustable shelving as well. It's single phase and it does give you uh, provisions to put a brand name across the very top if you wish. The next fridge that you see in front of you is an underbench five door fridge, fully stainless steel, Australian made. It has uh, twin uh, shelving and uh, you can adjust the shelving to whatever uh, height that you want according to produce or trays that you want to fit in it. It is single phase 
and temperature control is adjustable down to about zero Celsius or just under. The next uh, display cabinet that you see is refrigerated. It's ideally suited for containing whole fish. It will take ice as well. It is uh, insulated and single phase and displays uh, all kinds of produce apart from seafood quite nicely. Now the next two cabinets you see on display are refrigerated. They can, they're deli counters, but they can be used for seafood. Uh, one's approximately two metres in length, the other one's about a metre and a half in length. They're single phase. You can adjust the temperature uh, up to zero for fresh uh, produce, zero Celsius that is, and they work uh, very well. They're not very old, they're almost new. Thank you.